So everyone, welcome. I'm really excited today to be here with Irene Lyon, MSc, to talk about the relationship between trauma and fatigue. So imagine, if you will, someone who is constantly in fight, flight, freeze because of their big traumas, little traumas, all the things, and I'll get into that in a little bit, but let's just say they're always in a state of stress, always in a state of hypervigilance or shutdown, mm -hmm. that will impact directly how that autonomic nervous system governs the digestion, the lymph, the cardiovascular, the breath, mm -hmm. the perfusion of muscle up for blood, mm -hmm. excreting the waste when we move. Even our brain is an end organ to the autonomic nervous system. And so, and in addition to that, the autonomic nervous system also is what engages us. So this is where the vagus nerve comes in. Mm -hmm. And so one of the hallmarks of those that I've seen who have fatigue, chronic illness, fibro, autoimmune is they can't exercise, they can't move their bodies. They, they want to, but it can sometimes send them into a state of panic because there isn't that refinement, the vagal break isn't, doesn't know how to lift gently. Right. And instead they do a little bit of exercise and they're thrown into stress physiology. It feels terrifying. And then they're like, I'm never doing this again. <laughs> Which makes sense, right? Which makes sense. Learn how to listen to the biological impulses in the body. Mm. So if you didn't get it when you were little, you got to start doing it now as an adult. Right. And the more I do this work, and the more I think about the crazy methodologies that are so, they're so um, promising, but it's like, what if we just listen to our need for hunger or thirst? You're not that child in the cage. You're here, you're functional, you're watching this, therefore you can recover this. Yes. And I also love this idea. Well, I guess what it means to me, what you're saying is, there's there's a process here this yes. is not a quick fix yes. necessarily this is not a magic bullet that retraining process is a process and so to i guess be patient with that as well which i think is so important here as well mm -hmm.